Welcome to section 4, where we're going to look at the tools underscore.js provides that help when working with JavaScript functions. In this video, we'll look at the bind and bind all methods of underscore, which allow us to fix the meaning of the this variable for a function. This turns out to be very useful in a lot of situations. Here's our International Space Station flyovers app. We're going to do another bit of refactoring in this video. Let's organize this code into a class. This isn't always the right way to go, of course, but it can be a nice way to organize your code. So let's start by creating a, a constructor function for our new class. We'll call it the ISS flyover class. Next, we want to add some methods to the prototype. And here I'm using underscores extend method again to add properties to the prototype property of the constructor. Now we want to take the get refreshed data function here and make it a method. And let's make this refresh data function also a method. We'll just close off that call to extend here. So we can see that this line here is closing off this one up here. Of course, we'll need to make sure that the call got refresh data here is now calling the method on the object. So I need to store the value of the this variable here so that we can use it down here to call the method. We have to use the me variable I just assigned because the this variable won't be set to the object instance here. Now let's create an instance of the ISS flyover class and assign it to a variable here. And we can move these calls into the constructor function so that they're called when we create the object. We can see that it's mostly working in the browser now, except that if I click the refresh button, nothing happens. If we open the console here, we can see that we've got an error. Let's look and we can see that it's at the point we tried to call get refresh data. The error indicates that there isn't a got refreshed method on the me variable, which means that the me variable can't be an instance of our ISS flyover class. What has happened here is that when the refresh data method was called in response to the click on the refresh button, the this context that was passed in wasn't the correct object. The culprit is this line. We pass in the refresh data method as a click handler, but of course when you pass methods around like this in JavaScript they lose their context. A solution to this problem is to bind the function to its context with the underscore bind method. Let's create a bound version of the method now by passing it to the bind function of underscore and assigning the results to the bound refresh data variable. And we can then make use of it as the click handler. If we go back to the browser and we refresh, we can now see that the refresh button is working properly again. You might want to just overwrite the method with a bound version of itself, so you never have to worry about binding it when you use it. Now we can use this dot refresh data anywhere we like, and it will just work. Underscore actually has a shortcut for this line. Instead of calling underscore dot bind and overwriting the method with the return, we can call bind all and tell it the object in the method name and underscore will do it for us. And we can even pass in multiple method names to bind all at once, to bind multiple methods at the same time. And let's just see that it's all still working. Refresh, and good, it is still working. In this video, we saw another example of the use of the extend function to add properties to an existing object. Then we saw how to use the bind and bind all functions to bind a method's this context to make it easier to pass around. In the next video, we're going to extend the app to take a user-specified position, and we're going to see how underscore's debounce method can be used to ensure that a function isn't called too often. Hope to see you there.